Hello everyone, welcome back to MedSeekers. Today I am bringing you the most awaited update. Chipmer MPH 2025 results are out. In this video, I will be talking about cutoff, counseling process, and admission guidelines. If you have applied for MPH at Chipmer, this video is complete guide for you. So stay tuned till the end. Many students have commented regarding who should attend for counseling, who should not attend for counseling. So first we'll go through shortlisted candidate list. Each category they have released list. For unreserved there is separate list. OBC there is separate list. EWS, SC, ST and sponsored category also. In this video I will be covering all the aspects and I will be talking about JIPMER MPH counseling process. Important documents to carry. Your checklist for counseling. What is the admission process? And many students have commented regarding attempt certificate. Is it mandatory or not? Yes, it is mandatory. I will talk in detail in this video. Recently, 11th August 2025, JIPMER have released merit list of uh, all the various courses. For MPH course, they have released shortlisted candidate list also. Let's see at MPH seat distribution. In unreserved category, we have 8 seats. OBC 5, SC 3, ST 1, EWS 2, sponsored category 15, OPH 1. So total we have 34 seats. Your counseling is scheduled on 21st August 2025, Thursday. So all shortlisted candidates must be present at 21st August 2025 before 9 a.m. Venue is Jipmer Academic Center, Mini Auditorium, 4th floor. If you are shortlisted, please, please do attend for counseling if you are interested. As mentioned in the earlier part of video, Jipmer has released provisionally eligible shortlisted candidates according to category wise. Let's go into category wise shortlisted candidate list. I'll tell you in detail how seat allotment process will happen. See, for example, this is serial number, roll number, name of candidate, total marks, date of birth I have blinded because respecting participants privacy. Here you see this rank is very important. For example, rank 1, he has unreserved rank 1, OBC rank 1. So in unreserved category, we have 8 seats, right? So first 8, if all of them will appear for counseling process and if all the 8 are interested to pursue masters in MPH at Chipmer, all the eight uh, rank till eight rank will be allotted. Suppose if some students are missing or if they are not interested to pursue at Chipmer or if some uh, they have other plans, then next people who are in the row will have chance. And here you see this is one best example I can tell you. Rank 9, they have unreserved rank 9 and OBC rank 2. So in this person rank 1, he will get allotted in unreserved category. So after finishing unreserved category, when OBC seats allotment will be done, Amreen Fatima rank 9 will be given first opportunity because first ranker will be taking in unreserved category. Let's see other category wise list also. Huh, this is also one best example. Here uh, in category they have EWS 1. So Ayush Sharma will be taking in unreserved category. But it's mandatory to carry your uh, category certificate also irrespective of what uh, in what category you will be allotted seat. So total 40 candidates they have shortlisted for uh, unreserved category counseling. Here what I can tell you if you are interested suppose uh, if the other students in top ranks are not appearing for counseling the other candidates will still have chance. If you are in uh, OBC, SC, ST, EWS rank list also please check that and we have number of seats in OBC we have 5, SC we have 3, ST we have 1, EWS we have 2. So now let's have a look at OBC non creamy layer reserved list. In this particular category there is very very important note to all the students who are claiming OBC non creamy layer reservation. See BC certificate which is issued by state is different. OBC non creamy layer is different. JIPMER MPH 2025 prospectus has clearly mentioned certain pro forma which is issued by Central Government of India. Your certificate should be in that format. Please check your OBC NCL certificate. If you have BC certificate, if you are eligible for OBC NCL, please apply in that particular format before your counseling and make sure you take your certificate 
must and should for your counseling so who are having higher chances in getting seat in obc category so rank 1 he already has uh, first rank in unreserved and we have eight seats in unreserved category he will be taking seat in unreserved category if he appear for counseling so second student ambrin fatima she has rank 9 in unreserved category and obc second rank she will become obc 1 why despite of having rank 9 she is taking a uh, seat in obc because in unreserved category we have only 8 seats so then this 3 will become 2 then this 4 will become 3 suppose if all the students in top ranks are not appearing for counseling if they have missed counseling the next students will be having chance so who should appear for counseling that is completely personal choice but still i believe appearing for counseling if you are really interested in jipmer will give you a chance if many students are not appearing for counseling you will definitely have a chance so if we look at provisionally eligible for sponsored deputy category list no students have been shortlisted under this particular category now many students are having doubt we have so many seats in sponsored and deputy category they have not shortlisted any student so this seats will be pooled under general category seats or any other seats no they will not pool this sponsored or deputed seats into any other category here they have clearly written the sponsored deputed seats will not be pulled into general seats that particular seats will be remained vacant this scenario happened in 2020 also they have left that particular seats as vacant only those seats will not be pulled into general seats please remember that and if we see for ews they have shortlisted two students in sc they have shortlisted five students in st they have shortlisted one student we have only one seat in st category so this particular seat distribution i have again depicted for your understanding see we have 15 seats in sponsored and deputed category this 15 seats will be remained vacant all the shortlisted candidates in unreserved obc sc st ews will be called for counseling and they will be allotted seats according to the merit list so before talking about document checklist attempt certificates i'll just briefly tell you about admission process after completing your physical verification of all the certificates you will be allotted seat based on your reservation and merit rank order here i am emphasizing it again for obc and ews students please carry your certificate not only obc and ews sc st and all other students also for obc and ews it should be according to the format which is issued by jipmer they have clearly mentioned in the prospectus so you will be allotted seat for uh, students who have been selected they will provisionally allot a seat and uh, you will be undergoing a medical examination on 22nd august at 9 am the candidates who have been provisionally allotted seat for mph you have to pay 14910 indian rupees admission order will be issued only after physical verification of original certificates documents clearance by jipmer medical board academic fees payment paid receipt after paying please uh, document your uh, receipt also the academic program will commence from 1st september 2025 so documents to carry for jipmer mph counseling first one is student verification form all the shortlisted eligible candidates you can download this particular form and fill all your details they have clearly mentioned annex year 1 same where you have downloaded shortlisted candidate list there only they have mentioned that take a print out of it and fill the form you have to submit this particular form during your physical verification of all the original certificates so first is student verification form second one is print out of score card and hall ticket when you appeared for jipmer mph 2025 you might have carried your hall ticket right in that particular hall ticket invigilator must have signed and uh, have, you must have the seal of examination center please take that particular hall ticket and score card you can download from jipmer website it is essential that all candidates must appear in in person for the counseling proxy is strictly discouraged every student must appear in in person for counseling the registration process for admission process closes on 21st august 10:30 am please be there before 9 am don't miss an opportunity if you are really interested 
all the original certificates listed in the prospectus and listed in this particular document you have to carry it without fail for physical verification only those candidates who have successfully completed physical verification of all original certificates will be eligible for provisional seat allotment please note this allotment of seats will be based on constitutional reservation wise as i mentioned you unreserved sc st obc ews important note for all the students who are claiming obc ncl sc st pwd horizontal you must submit a valid original certificates to claim for the reserved category seat during certificate verification process important instruction for obc ncl and ews ews certificate must be valid for admission in central government institutions as detailed in the institute prospectus further obc ncl should have been obtained on or after 31st july 2024 so please carry your latest certificates candidates are advised to make necessary arrangements for their accommodation your course will be commencing on sorry commencing from 1st september 2025 so documentation checklist for all the students who are appearing for jipmer mph 2025 counseling first one you have to download student verification form and fill it second one your score card third one your original hall ticket with exam center seal and signature third 10th certificate or birth certificate which is like uh, proof of your date of birth consolidated mark sheet or semester wise ma- marks card of your particular degree examination and degree certificate if you are currently employed noc from employer stating that she or he would be relieved to undergo study eighth one very very important applicable only for mph course you have to produce or submit them attempt certificate from your graduation university that you have cleared all your course in the first attempt passed in first attempt in all subjects with minimum 50% of marks in aggregate to be eligible for mph course admission this you can be you can take from your particular graduation university or college with seal from concerned who is your head or who is your principal or director who is authorized to issue this certificate with seal don't forget signature and seal from issuing authority ninth one is your caste certificate 10th one uh, it's ews certificate for ews candidates they have here also they have mentioned refer to the prospectus and exure for the format for pwd also pwd certificate course come conduct certificate tc resident certificate this will be helpful during your hostel allotment and one set of xerox copy of all the certificates five passport size color photos without placard see during your mph uh, application process you might have photos with placard na in this particular counseling process you have to take five passport size color photos without placard again i am repeating this important note for obc ews students please check your certificates very very important whether it is according to the format issued by jipmer or not it might be for obc or ews it should be latest and it should be according to that particular pro forma even for sc and st students please carry your caste certificates it's very very important and regarding hostel accommodation as of now they have acute shortage until you get allotted hostel here they have mentioned you have to make your own arrangements some students have commented how to download score card here you can see this is a snap i have taken from official website of jipmer here you can see scorecard link click on this log in with your credentials your scorecard will be displayed download that and please carry scorecard without fail attempt certificate is very very important all the students who are shortlisted for counseling must carry attempt certificate without fail your attempt certificate will be issued by your graduation university or college you can reach out to them and you should submit uh, that you have passed in first attempt in all the subjects with minimum 50% of marks in aggregate to be eligible for mph course admission please carry your attempt certificates it's really really important without that you will face difficulties this can be issued by your graduation university make sure your attempt certificate has signature and seal by concerned authority 
here you can see this this is jipmer eligibility criteria of 2025 here they have clearly mentioned in your graduation you should have passed in the first attempt in all semesters all years with at least 50% marks in aggregate okay many of our subscribers have commented and shared their exam experience and they have been shortlisted for jipmer mph program i really congratulate each and every students who have been shortlisted i wish you all the best all the luck happiness success please do like the video share it with your friends who are appearing for jipmer mph counseling do subscribe to our channel if you have any doubts please do comment below thank you for watching have a great day